25 years ago, Dutch software developer Ton Rosendahl began creating an in-house 3D toolset, which would later become known as Blender. It had a rough start, and early on, the rights to the software would be acquired and ultimately discontinued by outside investors. Ironically, failure in the market destined Blender for something much more interesting. With years of development locked away and heading towards obscurity, the large user community banded together to take it back and set it free. In a move impressively ahead of its time, they crowdfunded 100,000 euros, purchased the rights, and released it to the public under the GNU General Public License forever. Through the labor of thousands of individual contributors, Blender open source software has continued to expand and improve. It covers the entire CG animation pipeline, including modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, and motion tracking. And it continues to, to serve its community in an inspiringly democratic and egalitarian fashion, offering professional studios and marginalized creators equal opportunity to participate in this incredible medium. Let's take a look at some of the work that the Blender community has created over the last two decades. for me to stand here tonight and present the Ub Iwerks Technical Achievement Award to Tom Rosendahl for Blender open source software. So hello everyone. So thanks so much for this amazing award. So I'm Tom Rosendahl. I'm the original creator of Blender, chairman of Blender Foundation, director of Blender Institute, producer at the Blender Animation Studio. And for users, I'm the BDFL, or the Benevolent Dictator for Life. <laughs> for the industry, I'm the Blender CEO, and my friends just call me Tom. So yeah, I've got a lot of different roles. That's not an identity crisis, but that is how it all evolved. <laughs> Heck, I, I didn't even think I would end up with a 3D open source project and with an annual award in my hands when I started Blunder 25 years ago. It was the late 90s when I first visited the US, presenting Blunder on a small booth at the Cigarette Trade Show here in Los Angeles. Looking up at the titans of the industry, the people who made Terminator, Toy Story, Jurassic Park. And here I was with this tiny program I coded for in-house use in a video graphics and animation studio in a mid-sized town in the Netherlands. And nobody. So man, I was nervous. And was I surprised to get this warm welcome. Uh, the industry is actually really not that threatening or arrogant or greedy or like pure evil. And I don't mean <laughs> studios or producers. I mean the people behind the scenes, yeah, the artists, developers who make animation and computer graphics happen. For those, from those, I received genuine interest, real compliments, and best of all, recognition. Because they all started like that, as little nobodies working hard to become skilled and more or less successful film and software makers. And here is what it all comes down for me. The core motivation, it's just sheer passion for the topic of 3D computer graphics and animation. It's the magic of being a wizard and the master of your own universe. It was always about that. Not so much about the tools, but what you do with it as a maker. 
And for that reason, if you look at all my roles, I'm like the happiest puppy in the business. <laughs> Surrounded by talent, and by passion, and especially by people who like to do what I love best, building things nobody did before, and along the way, inventing new ways how to manage and fund it all. Making film and making open source software and combine that into a successful business. So I'll be busy in 2019, and thanks, Asifa, for making this year start with the bang. <laughs>